Hi there folks, fake Apollo fans and followers of ApolloMoonHooks.net Welcome to another video by the brilliant expat Taffy. Now folks, as you can see from the title, how insane can the Joan Evans get? This video by the brilliant expat Taffy is a response video to a video recently launched by the stupid Australian Joan Evans whereby she tried to discredit the brilliant expat Taffy and use the title page of that video of hers. There you are folks, there's the title of Joan's video. But she's asking the question, how insane is William Swithin? Notice she uses my true identity, William Swithin, something that none of the shells have got the balls to do. So, let's take a look at why Joan Evans calls me insane, shall we? Okay folks, here's the first photo that I had an encounter with this from Australia, Joan Evans. A photo about six years ago that I displayed showing that this Apollo 14 astronaut has only got one leg. He hasn't got a right leg. And here's a better look at it coming up. There you are folks. For those who haven't seen it before, a photo I used about six years ago in an early video showing what I called the one-legged astronaut who had to hop it. You can clearly see he has not got a right leg. Now, Joan Evans immediately called me insane for that. The reason Joan Evans said I'm insane is because she said he must have had a right leg because he had one in the previous photo. And here's that previous photo coming up, folks. <laughs> there you are, folks. There's the previous photo, 9404. And in this one, you can see he's got a right leg. And that's why Joan Evans says he must have a leg in the next photo because he's got one in this one. The next photo about six years ago that got this Joan Evans to blow her top and call me insane was a discovery by the brilliant expat Taffy, a photo that's been driving these NASA nutters crazy for six years. A photo that I dubbed the Pink Flamingo. Yes, folks, a photo that contains the head of a pink flamingo on the moon and he hasn't got a helmet and he hasn't got a spacesuit. Now, what's a pink flamingo doing on the moon and without a spacesuit? And here's what some of the other idiots say about this. They say, I'm just suffering from paradoida. Take a look at what the idiot Astrobrand says. Here you are, folks. Here's one of the comments by that idiot that I dubbed the twat who was always speaking through his Astrobrand. He states here, the flamingo is one of several examples of expat Taffy's paradoilia. That was following two other comments by him is, no, I can't see a pink flamingo, I'm not schizophrenic. And another one where he stated, it's not a pink flamingo, it's a piece of pink bubblegum that Buzz Aldrin spat out as he came down the ladder. Well, what about that so far, Joan Evans? Like I've told you many times before, you're quite entitled to call me insane. All you've got to do is provide the evidence that I'm insane. If I can see the evidence that I'm insane, I'll say thanks, Joan, for letting me know and proving to me that I'm insane. I better go and get treatment. But I reserve the right to say to you as well, Joan Evans, you are insane. And I can provide the evidence, which I have done in two cases here now. Well, he keeps going on and on about a white sheet. Quite right, Joan, quite right. Yes, William Swithin, also known as Expat Taffy One, and now also known as Basil Brush, has what he thinks is his new gotcha question. It's this. Yes, let's take a look at it, Joan, shall we? Now, folks, all I could get from Joan Evans for the last three years is, I've already answered that, I've already answered that, I've already answered that, go back, check my post, I've already answered that. I got so fed up with that, I said, hey, Joan, the record's stuck, turn the record over. I've already answered that, I've already answered that. Now pay particular attention to the wording in Joan's videos, and you'll see proof why she is insane. Keep that in mind where she said, I've already answered that, okay? Now, before we go any further, let me show you the photo of one of the photos we are concerned with, with this certain question. Now, folks, the question I've been asking these for a couple of years now is, these three limbs, 15, 16, and 17, if you look here, you'll see all the gear that they're supposed to have used on the moon. They're supposed to have unloaded it, and there's a white sheet thrown over it. 
Now, were they expecting rain on the moon or what? I asked a simple question, why unload gear out of the lem and throw a white sheet over it? There's got to be an explanation. Like I always keep telling you, everything is done for a reason and a purpose. Nobody does something for nothing. Now that's the question I've been asking these for the last two years is, why throw a white sheet over the gear? Now you can imagine why they would do that on the earth when they're practicing, when they're training, because it rains on the earth. But there's no rain on the moon, is there? So why would they take a sheet to the moon to throw over the gear? And that question has been plaguing these now for two or three years. So what this video is about with Joan Evans, trying to make out I'm insane, as you will see, she's trying to answer that question. Now folks, take a look at this statement by Joan Evans here. She says, it's a question William has asked before, over and over and over, and it's been answered before, over and over and over. Now please take a note of her words there. She says, it's been answered before, over and over and over again. All right, keep that in mind. She says, it's been answered over and over and over. But let's see what she says later on. Look what Joan says here, folks. William forgets, either deliberately or because his memory is gone, that this question has been answered. So whenever he is in a corner, he keeps asking it in the belief that because it hasn't been answered, that proves the entire Apollo space program was faked. Uh, because it hasn't been answered, what are you agreeing now, Joan, that it hasn't been answered? You've repeated time after time, at least 40 times, that it has been answered. And now you seem to be agreeing here that it hasn't been answered. <laughs> no, Joan, it's not proof the entire space program was faked, but it's one of a thousand clues that proves the space program was faked, as we will see. Here you are, folks. Here's the next page from Joan Evans' video. So here's a video that William can refer to in the future anytime he wants to know what his white sheet is. We shall see, Joan, we shall see. Okay, folks, now notice Joan Evans' wording there. She says she's going to explain what my white sheet is. Now, first correction, Joan, I never ever ask you, what is this white sheet? My question was, if they unloaded gear on the moon, why put a white sheet over it? Why, Joan? That's the question I am asking. Why cover it with a white sheet? Here you are, folks. Read this by Joan Evans. Let's start by looking at the unloaded Q4 storage area from each of the G and H class missions and then from the J class missions. Okay, folks. Here is what Joan Evans classes as the G and H series, Apollo 11, 12, 13, and 14. So there you are, folks. You can see from that photo, Joan Evans refers to the G H series as Apollo 11, 12, and 14. Now, for all of those who've watched my videos recently, I done a video not so long ago proving that Apollo 11 lem Apollo 12 lem and Apollo 14 lem are just all one and the same. One lem used for each mission. All fake photos. And I done the same about six years ago. Let's take a look at what else she says. Okay folks, take a look at this first photo here by Joan Evans. AS 11-40-5872. Now, Joan Evans have cheated a bit here. I'll show you why later on. But this is a photo I can prove to you with at least 10 clues in this photo that it is fake. At least 10. But we'll go along with what Joan Evans is trying to claim here at the moment. Let's take a look at the next photo. Okay, here's her next photo, AS 12-46-6726. And here is her third photo, AS 14-66-9306. Okay folks, looking at Joan's script here, 
So there were no, uh, oh, what the bloody hell is that, Joan? So there were no, uh, sorry, Joan, that should be, so there were, W-E-R-E, -E. stupid, get your spell checking working. Should be, so there were no white sheets present in the G and H class missions. So let's take a look at the J class missions. Uh, no, Joan, we'll postpone that for now. We'll take a further look at these three photos we've just been given by you. Let's look for something really interesting in them, shall we? Now, folks, my question, why unload the gear and throw a white sheet over it? Now, Joan Evans thinks she's got the answer here. Here you are, folks. Here's the photo Joan Evans started with. And as I told you earlier on, she cheated. Now, what I've done here, I've cropped a section of Joan's photo showing the gear. What Joan is trying to show you here is that there is no white sheet thrown over the Apollo 11 gear. But there is, as you can see, a see-through plastic sheet thrown over it. Now, the question is exactly the same, Joan. For Apollo 11, 12 and 14, why unload the gear and throw a clear plastic sheet over it? What they've all got is, from what you can see, the bottom arrows, you can faintly see here a small dugout crater and to the right of that, the dugout soil. The Apollo 12 limb, as I told you, is the same one. It's got the gear unloaded it's got a clear plastic sheet over the gear. It's got the corner of that clear sheet pointing down. And it's got the crater that I've shown you with the man-made metal objects tossed into it. We'll take a look at it a bit better in the next photo. There you are. There's an enlarged crop section for you for the Apollo 12 lem. You can see the dugout crater, dugout with a shovel. You can see the soil tossed to one side. You can see metal objects in the crater. And you can see the clear plastic sheet corner hanging down. The corner going to the crater. And in this one, it shows a metal ring which looks like a dish, which you'll also find under the Apollo 11 main lem. Okay, folks, take a look at this photo here now. AS12-46-6726. Now this is the next photo Joan Evans used in her video to try to discredit the brilliant expat Taffy. Take a good look at it. And this photo is going to show you what a liar, a cheat, and an insane idiot Joan Evans is. Here you are folks, here's that photo by the brilliant expat Taffy. Do you notice the difference? Mine is a lot brighter than Joan Evans. There you are, folks. What I've done, I've combined the two photos here. On the left, you can see the photo by the liar Joan Evans. She's deliberately darkened the photo to hide the evidence of fakery. On the right is the photo by yours truly, the honest expat Taffy. There you are, folks. There's an example of what a liar and a cheat Joan Evans is. She knows the photos are fake. She knows they faked the moon landings. But she tried to cover up the evidence of that fakery there. All she wanted you to see there is there is no white sheet over the gear, as in the case of 15, 16 and 17. What she didn't want you to see was over the gear there is a see-through clear plastic sheet and there's evidence underneath that the shape of that sheet coming down, evidence that it's exactly the same lem as Apollo 11. And another thing she didn't want you to see, or didn't want you to notice, is the astronaut is just coming out of the lem, but the gear is already unloaded, exactly the same as with Apollo 11. Here you are, folks. Here's a cropped bottom section from the photo by the liar Joan Evans, a photo from her video. Okay folks, here's the cropped section from the photo that the brilliant expat Tappy downloaded from the Lunar Surface Journal. Now I'll give you a better look at it. There you are folks, brightened up for you to all see the evidence. 
What Joan Evans didn't want you to see is there is a clear see-through plastic sheet over the gear for this Apollo 12, exactly the same as Apollo 11, and you'll see exactly the same for Apollo 14. Now, you can see what's happening here. The layer Joan Evans darkens down the photo to hide the evidence. The brilliant expat Taffy brightens up the photo to display the evidence. And here's a kick in the teeth for the stupid twat Cornelius Crew. He insists this is not a clear see-through sheet. He insists it's the yellow miler. What he's too thick to realise is the photo he's looked at, he can see the miler behind the clear sheet. Well, what about that, folks? Can you see what a liar and an insane idiot this Joan Evans is? As the pink flamingo said, Hey, hey Joan, I can stand on one leg, but when it comes to the brilliant expat Tuffy, you haven't got a leg to stand on. Okay, let's take a look at the next photo by this Joan Evans in her crap video where she tries to discredit me, the brilliant expat Tavi, shall we? Here's the next photo in Joan Evans' crap video, AS14-66-9306. Now, this is a photo, as Marcus Allen said, it's the weirdest photo he has ever seen. It's a photo I have promised Joan Evans I'll do a number of videos on this showing at least 24 errors of fakery in it. There you are folks, a crop section under that Apollo 14 lens. Now, what Joan is trying to show you here folks is the gear under this Apollo 14 lens has not got a white sheet on it. But what we've got here is all the evidence that it is the same lens as Apollo 11. Under the gear there you can see, you can see the dugout man-made crater, the soil chucked to one side, the items, discarded items in the crater, and the corner of the see-through clear sheet hanging down. Exactly the same in Apollo 12 and Apollo 11, folks. John, you're it. Okay, take a look at what I've done here. I've taken the crop section of underneath the Apollo 12 lamb and underneath the Apollo 14 lamb. Now notice the difference here between the brilliant expat Taffy and the liar Joan Evans. She darkens the photos down to hide the evidence of fakery. The brilliant expat Taffy zooms up and brightens up to display the evidence of fakery. Now look what we've got here, the similarities. On the left, Apollo 12, you can see the man-made dugout crater, dug out with a shovel. And on the right, under the Apollo 14, you can see that crater. On the left, you can see metal objects under the Apollo 12 lem in that crater. On the right, you can see the objects in the crater under the Apollo 14. On the left, you can see the square edge of the clear see-through plastic sheet. On the right, you can see the square edge hanging down of the Apollo 14 plastic sheet. And look at 14. Behind the bottom corner, there's a little corner of the sheet sticking out towards the crater. And you've got exactly the same under the Apollo 12 lens. Anyone need any more evidence that the Apollo 12 lem and the Apollo 14 lem are both one and the same? Well, Joan Evans, <laughs> what are you going to say about that? Let's see you make a video disproving that, Joan Evans. <laughs>